New at 11 tonight, the owners of a D.C. cannabis company are suing the city. They claim police officers seized more than $700,000 in cash during raids. And in each case, the charges were dropped or the attorney general chose not to prosecute. Well, now they want their money back. News 4's Walter Morris is in Northwest with the latest. August 2021, security cameras rolling as D.C. police raid a popular cannabis business. Officers can be seen filing up the stairs and smashing an ATM before seizing cash and merchandise, arresting several people in the process. So far, all of the charges were either dropped or not prosecuted. And now, over a year later, the owners of Mr. Nice Guy's D.C. say they want their money back. It's exhausting to uh, always have this uphill battle. Like, where's the justice? They come in, kick in our doors, raid us you know, take our money. Mr. Nice Guy's co-owners, Gregory Wimsat and Damian West, speaking with News 4 days after filing this lawsuit against the city, seeking 750 grand in damages. They say police have raided their stores multiple times over the past few years and seized hundreds of thousands of dollars. But despite the cases being dropped or dismissed, cops are still holding on to their cash. Yeah, it's been close to about $800,000 in product and cash. We, the, what we specifically asked for in this case was just the cash. That's not including loss of damages of product. Uh, we've had other situations where they've actually banned us from our location. Businesses like Mr. Nice Guys operate in the district under a legal loophole. Customers buy a product like a piece of art and get marijuana as a gift with purchase. Despite operating in what some call a legal gray area, these business owners say their case is black and white. I, I'm going to be a voice for the people that don't have a voice. You know what I mean? I'm not going to stand for it. You know, uh, we have done nothing wrong. We're operating in a gray space that they created, and all we only thing we want is our money back. And we did reach out to the office of the attorney general, but they declined to comment on the case. In Northwest, Walter Morris, News 4.